Hi everyone, this is a quick refresher on how to format a document using MLA style. When you open a new document, especially on the school computers, uh, the default setting is Calibri 11 point font. So the first step you want to do is change that to Times New Roman 12 point font, which is the standard font for MLA documents. Uh, the next thing you want to do is check your margins. Your margins should be one inch all the, all the way around. And right now they are not. Right now they're set for the Office 2003 default setting, uh, which brings it in a quarter inch on either side. So we need to set it to one inch all the way around. Uh, the next thing we need to do is check and make sure that the entire document is going to be properly double spaced. So that's here on the paragraph button. Come down here to 2.0, that will make it all double spaced. And the other thing we want to do is make sure that it's not adding spaces before or after paragraphs. And in order to do that, I'm going to click on this tiny little arrow here. Come down to where it says spacing. Uh, before is zero point, which is great. We don't want to change this after also to zero point. So that means that it's not adding any extra spaces before or after paragraphs. So now the basic formatting when we start typing is going to be correct in MLA format. And what you need to type is you begin with your name on the upper left side and then your professor's name. Uh, I don't need anything fancy. You can just type J. Lindbergh. You can type Professor Lindbergh. You can type Ms. Lindbergh. Any of that is fine with me. Uh, the next thing you do is your class. And we'll just be English 1102. And then finally, you need the date that you are turning in the assignment. So whatever the assignment is, put the date that you are turning it in uh, there. And the way you format the date is always the same for all MLA documentation. You always begin with the day, and then type the month, and then the year. Notice there are no commas or extra spaces or pieces of punctuation there. So now we have that part of the header, the identifying header, correct. And next we need the title. I hit enter one time, no extra spaces. Come over here to center, and I'm going to have some kind of interesting title for my paper. You always want to title your paper because it's the first uh, impression that your reader gets of your work. Uh, then again, I hit enter one time. Uh, make it left justified again, hit tab, and begin typing my brilliant oops, paper here. Note again, there are no extra spaces between the date and the title, or the title and the first line of the paper. In addition, the title is not bold, it is not italicized, and it is not in quotes. It is just in the title position, that's what tells me it's a title. Uh, finally, we need to figure out the header, uh, and that sometimes throws people off. I'm going to show you how to do that. The first step is to come up here to Insert, and then Page Number. Ignore this whole header dealio. That's just going to cause you trouble. Come over here to Page Number, Top of Page, Plain Number 3. Then type your last name, two spaces, and leave that number alone. It will stay right there, and it will be brilliant and perfect on every page that you type. Now, in order to get out of this header box, you can either hit Close Header and Footer, or you can just double-click in the body of your paper. And you'll see your right header floating up here. And if I space down in my text, and I pretend I have two pages, note that it fixes it automatically for you. You don't have to try to type it yourself. You certainly don't want to try to type that on every page because uh, manually because it'll just get all messed up and uh, every time you add something to your paper it'll be all wonky and you don't want that. So that's the way you do the header. You use the insert tab and you use page number and you come down to top of page plane number three. Uh, so now at this point if I were you I would save this document as model MLA. wherever you feel like you need to save it and that way you always have it no matter what you can always go back to it refer to it make sure you've done it right on every single paper you turn in